Okay, this is Wayne Blau with tip number 20 from our 35 QuickBooks 2013 Tips and Tricks. Use memorized transactions for any payments or invoice that reoccurred during the year. This is a fast way to, to make your life easy to the point where you don't even need to touch the keyboard. All you have to do is turn on the computer sometimes. Let's uh, let's look backwards. Let's find, let's, uh, better yet, let's do this the easy way. Let's go get an income statement. All right. And let's look for something that always gets paid a lot. Let's say workers comp. That's this thirteen dollar and eleven cent one. Yeah, I don't like that one. Let's go to utilities. You always uh, better yet. Let's pay something that we know is always going to be paid. Let's do. Let's change it to this fiscal year to date, and let's go to rent. That's always a better one. I said rent. They haven't paid their rent. They don't have rent. <laughs> I love a company that doesn't have rent. Um, interesting. That would be the best one to have. Let's see if I got signed up. All right, let's use this $350 payment. You notice that we're basically getting a reoccurring job journal entry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that $350 payment. It's always pretty much the same. And I don't want to mess with this anymore. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to go up here to prefer, to edit. And I'm going to go down to Memorize Check. All right. Now, there's one already there, so I'm just going to add one. I'll show you where they're at. So I'm going to do Sergeant Insurance, Add to my Reminder List. Do not remind me. I have choices. Or I can automatically enter it. Or I can add it with a group. Um, I'll show you a group when I do invoices in just a second. And I can say how often automatically enter. Well, let's say I wanted to do it monthly. I want the next one to be... A month from now, all right, on the 17th. Number remaining, I can tell it how many to, to do. Let's say I got six more. And, uh, yeah, do it a couple days early, all right? So now when I say okay, how do I know I really did anything? Well, what I'm going to do, I'm amazed that company doesn't have rent. I love a sample company without rent. I go up here to list, all right. At the very bottom, memorize transactions. Notice this keyboard shortcut I can use, Control T. All right, but I'm going here. And what I have now, I have different uh, entries that are being made. Okay, and they did one. I've done one. No big deal. I can get in here and I can delete this one because I've already done one. So I can get rid of the one they did and leave the one I did. Notice it says auto entry. Okay. So something here, no big deal. I, that's one place when I'm doing payments. Another place that it's pretty and more handy, if you ask me, is on uh, invoices. So let's just sales by customer, customer summary. And, um, you know, it really doesn't matter what it is. Let's say this gar garage repair, they're going to pay me, I'm going to do the work, and let's say it was some sort of monthly charge, okay? Um, they're, they're hiring me to do eight hours of repair work every month, and I'm gonna ch I agreed to do that. I'm going to go from rental property to rental property, let's say. Whatever. It really doesn't matter what the reason is, but I'm going to charge the same amount every time. So it's very easy to do. What I can do is I can say, all right, let's go to edit. Memorize the transaction, which is Control M, automatic entry, uh, monthly. I'm going to show you another little trick in a minute. Let's say the next one is again a month from now. All right, number remaining. You can leave it a blank. It'll do it until I tell it otherwise. Uh, but let's say I have a 12-month contract. Days to enter in advance to, and say OK. Now, I don't want to be done. I want to show you another little trick. Let's say I do this one, too, and it's going to be billed at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, con you know, well, let's just let you follow me. Memorize, memorize the invoice. All right. Now, automatic. Before I do that, let's go back to the memorized list. All right. Let's go over to the list and memorize transactions. All right. Let's enter a new group and we're going to call this group monthly invoices we're going to attempt to spell it correctly too all right we're going to have it automatically enter monthly all right on the 15th the next one's going to be on this date you know number remaining leave that blank let's do it two days in advance to say okay all right now 
when I come to this invoice that I want to memorize, what I'm going to do is I want to make it part of that group. So I do control memorize, add to the group, all right, monthly invoices, say OK. So now what's happened, all right, let's get out of here and let's go back. I don't know why I got that open. Let's go back to my list, memorize transaction list. And you can see I have one under there. Let's say I want to take this garage repair and make it part of that list. All I have to do is edit the memorized transaction, add it to the group, pick the group name. I can have multiple group names. Say OK. And now what's going to happen is these monthly invoices are going to happen automatically on the next date of 115. It's automatic. It's a monthly. I could set up different ones. I could have one that says weekly invoices. I could do whatever. Very handy. Memorized transactions can save you a lot of time on entry. Um, play around with it. See if it's something you can use. Until next time, this is Wayne Blount. You have a great day.